As you diagram a process or activity, you may find that an action or a group of actions can be interrupted by some event. To show this, use an interruptible activity region. An interruptible activity region is represented by an activity box with a dashed line border. We'll be adding one to our diagram in just a minute, but you can get a preview of what it looks like over here. So here again is our familiar process order example. Now as diagrammed, this process will execute until completion whenever an order is received. The order comes in, these concurrent processes happen, one on the order fulfillment side, one on the accounting side, and when these are all complete, we close the order and our process is finished. But what happens if you receive a request to cancel the order? A cancellation request should interrupt these various actions that are going on, bringing them to a halt. And here's how to show that. So as I said, the interruptible activity region is represented as an activity box with a dashed line for the border. So this shows the actions that could be interrupted. Inside this interruptible activity region, we put the event that can cause the interruption. And in the case um, of our diagram here, that would be an input signal. And that input signal would be an order cancellation request. So when this input comes in, when this signal is received, uh, we're going to stop these various actions and do a different action instead, and that would be to cancel the order. Now you connect the input signal and the action uh, that results from it using a zigzag arrow that looks just like the exception handler. In this context, we call it an interrupting edge. So here's our interrupting edge. And what it shows is that when we get this signal, we move on to this action. And in doing so, we interrupt whatever's going on here. So when that interruption happens, uh, we bypass all these things and we go to the end of our process. So again, what this shows is what happens, what's going on inside this interruptible activity region can be interrupted when the signal is received. When that happens, we move on to this action, and this action, in our example, takes us to the end of our process.